hey guys welcome back to the channel so for you guys who are not subscribed please subscribe below time to be on this channel my name is benita so kindly subscribe to the channel just in case you've not subscribed hey there youtube enthusiasts welcome back to my channel where we dive deep into the world world of content creation today we are going to talk about something that is as common as a cat video going viral asking for likes and subscriptions right at the start of your video but first let me ask you a question have you ever seen a youtuber desperately pleading for likes and subs within the very first five seconds of a video you know it's like the digital equivalent of a stranger asking you for your kidding as soon as you meet them awkward right now don't get me wrong we all want likes we all want subs and we all want that shiny silver play button but here is why doing it at the very beginning is about as appealing as a mold sandwich here is why it's a bad idea first imagine you are at a comedy show and the comedian starts with hey can everyone in the audience please laugh loudly right now? <laughs> and also, don't forget to clap after each joke. Your video is your show. Don't be that comedian. Two, it's a mood killer. Imagine watching an amazing movie and just as the plot thickens, the main character turns to the camera and says, Hey, pause the film. Like this movie now and subscribe to our newsletter for more updates. Ah, uh, no thanks. Let the content flow naturally. And lastly, it's also annoying. Let's be honest, when you hit a play on a video, you are excited to see the actual content, not to be bombarded with requests. It's like going to a restaurant and the waiter starts with, before I show you the menu, can you rate our restaurant 5 stars on Google? So what's the verdict, folks? Asking for likes and subs at the beginning of your video is like trying to catch a fish by screaming at it. It's not effective and it's kind of silly. Well, instead of instead of focusing on creating awesome, instead focus on creating awesome, engaging content that naturally makes your viewers want to subscribe and hit that like button. It's like a magnet for subs and likes. Now, since we have had fun poking at the like and subscribe that wagon let's talk about a more sophisticated approach imagine you are a smooth talking detective in a film noir and your mission is to get those likes and subs without anyone even realizing it here are some of the techniques one instead of shouting like and subscribe we weave it to your narrative it's like whispering a secret code that only the cool kids understand for example if you enjoy that folks you know what to do? Wink quick to tease your viewers with the promise of something amazing at the end. Stick around until the end because I've got a surprise that's gonna blow your socks off. Definitely they won't, re they won't be able to resist. 3. Show your genuine gratitude to your viewers. Thank them sincerely for watching and subtly suggest they might want more of your content in the future. For example, I really appreciate your spending your time here. If you like to see more, you know where the subscribe button is. 4. Slay in a gentle reminder halfway through your video. It's like a nudge. For example, by the way, if you're enjoying this, don't forget to give a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And 5. Paint a mental picture for your viewers. Imagine a world where you never miss any of the fantastic content. Well, that world exists. It's called subscribing. So dear YouTubers, remember that you can charm your audience into hitting those like and subscribe button without resorting to cringy worthy tactics. Subplenty is the game is the name of the game and your viewers will appreciate it. That's a wrap for today, my fellow content creators. Remember, the key to YouTube success is the content. Not in begging for likes and subs like a lost fat. Stay awesome. Stay creative and I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to sub like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.